Macy, thanks. 632 right now. And we're still following that breaking news out of Lake County. As we first told you at 430, two people are dead this morning after a truck slams into a house. This all happened in Willowick. News Channel 5's Josh Boos is live along Fairway Boulevard. And Josh, that scene still active and has been for hours. Yeah, it really has been, Mike. It's calmed down, though, a little bit since uh, the top of the hour, as you can see here over my shoulder. This is the house where police say a truck crashed right into it at about 2.30 this morning. We're told that two people are dead, though we're getting very little information about the names, even uh, the gender of those two people have been in contact with police all morning long and throughout the overnight. Let's take a look at some video here. All this happened around 2.30 overnight. The homeowner says he was asleep on the couch in the living room when he heard a huge crash. He looked out to see a, tracks, a, a truck rather smashed right into the outside of his home. No injuries on the inside of the house, we're told. But one neighbor I spoke with says that she heard what she thought was thunder, then heard one of her fellow neighbors yelling out as he tried to help the people inside the truck there. Listen. I heard a man screaming, dear God, please help me. And I looked out the window and I could see the flames. And the man uh, apparently tried to open the, the vehicle and he said he saw someone with their hair burning and he was quite distressed. Now, I actually spoke with uh, several neighbors throughout the overnight hours here, and uh, several of them told me that a similar crash happened here, though, back in 2005. It was actually at the house right next door to the one that was crashed into this morning. So, Mike and Macy, still a lot of questions about the victims in this. Uh, we're going to have the very latest on our website and here throughout Good Morning Cleveland. Back into you. Hey, very tough, tough to listen to from that neighbor, of course. Uh, police will try to get answers for that family, and when we get the answers, we'll let people know. Thank you, Josh.